Hello and welcome back to Gratuitous Space Battles 2. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking. This is going to be the second mission. I think I have a solution. Uh, this has been a hard one. Um, it's a weird kind of setup and you don't really... Uh, to get a good score you don't really have a lot of money to spend. Uh, so I'll show you my uh, deployment. You can see I, I've been working on this probably hour or two hours. So here is our... Ooh, this is actually something interesting I didn't do before. This is my deployment, okay? So, what I'm thinking, here's the strategy, right? Kind of get out there and get some poke onto these two cruisers before they can get in beam range and really uh, hammer away at my carrier. I've modified a hammer from the last episode. I'll show you the, the weapons in a moment. I've also got uh, two... Uh, two bomber squads, so offensive squads, and then two gunfighter, uh, do dogfighter squads. So let's uh, let's have a look at the hammer for starters. This is the hammer carrier. So a variation on the last episode. So I've thrown in a small carrier bay, 48. I've got some fast missile uh, launchers, plenty of them. So they should get a bit of poke onto that, uh, one of those cruisers. Got a radiation beam for a bit of fun. I've thrown on an eagle eye target, so I picked this up uh, from the research, and I must say, in terms of upgrades, don't have that much. Uh, we've got some armor and some shields. Uh, they don't last long enough in this uh, this uh, game, but I think this gives us enough in terms of a, a, a capital ship platform to on which to win. So let's. Uh, uh, this has been doing this. See, if I get a load, see how there's no Sarkozy, Sarkozy bomber? But if I go to save, Sarkozy bomber is suddenly there. Nope. Let's, uh... Let's just, uh... Overwrite this and hopefully uh, we'll prompt the game into remembering. Yes, there it is. So these have uh, torpedoes. Now I had two squads of eight on this. So change this, change it down to eight. I reckon it was. It might have been ten. I don't know. Well, we'll try both anyway. Let's assign the carrier. Okay, so this is the idea that we're going with. Now, I'm thinking, actually, that we might use location as well to give us a bit of a, a hand. So let's go down here and see if we can get away from this second cruiser, because right now I've been coming in at them head on, and uh, I've been winning, but it's been a pretty close run thing. So 36%, I think that's a pretty good score. Let's see how the fight goes. I've explained my uh, ideas, and uh, yeah. Off we go. Now the idea behind these bombers, right, is to get their fighters to kind of peel off and, and fight against us here, rather than coming all the way down here to the cruiser to then do battle. Now obviously I haven't tried this wrinkle yet. Um, I wonder where the... Uh, Aha, uh -huh, now they're just coming out now. So they're about to get some poke onto this cruiser. Hopefully. There we go, there's the poke. And this is going to... Yep, we're well in range now, so... We'll see that we should get some hits now. Now there's an interesting ebb and flow in this battle uh, where all the fighters will be out and then they'll come back and then they'll go back out again. And wow, this actually, actually this battle is going really well for us right now. Normally this has been uh, siege down to, you know, armor only. Uh, but it's still got its shields up, so that's uh, great news. Hopefully when those dogfighters get back out, ooh, they've lost a few, but that's okay. That they will uh, will get the remainder of this uh, this cruiser finished up before we head on to the next one. Uh, 
Yeah, we're doing okay here. This uh, this cruiser is doing really well. Uh, better than it normally does, does anyway. Uh, in previous wins, I've only uh, managed to get out of it because I've had the gunships. So this, uh, this one is now going to move up north and hopefully we'll we'll have got some poke onto this by way of our gunships before we even get there and it looks like we've got a few uh, yeah we're sieging it down that's awesome wow armor take that and this this is in capital missile range so so we got that added uh, bonus these are coming back for fuel these ones are going back out oh well, look at that so that's why I've split them into two um, two squadrons ideally I'd put them in for four and hopefully get this kind of rolling effect onto the uh, onto this cruiser we actually may make it out of this uh, with this cruiser alive there's possibly one thing I did wish for in this game is a bit more uh, consequence of losing things so have persistent fleets you know where you, you can't instantly get a a massive cruiser, you know, you got to build it, you know, and a bit of a, a campaign you know, where you fight a war against someone. But uh, this is going to be a pretty good victory, and uh, we'll have a look. I think I ended up, I did get a better score at some stage, okay, I did, uh, but I think that was a fluke. I couldn't replicate it. Uh, I kept getting beaten, so I think the r random number generator just acted in my favour that time. But now you can see the fighters just need to. Uh, siege down the remainder this number here will go down we we'll get a bit of a ticking war score as different fighters uh, retreat you can see that this one's uh, withdrawing and we'll get a our our dog fighters will, will deal with the rest the the rest of them that want to hang around and go toe to toe with us we're at 14 percent so that's that's a pretty good score uh, I think I got it uh, I got it to 32 or 33 percent but as I said I couldn't uh, replicate it so this um, this has been a good one, yeah, taking advantage of the map and coming at it so that they had to take me on one by one. It's turned out really well. So you can see that I haven't actually bettered my score at all. But uh, it's a good solution to the problem and now I can come in here and, and research some more things. Now, I'm not sure that there is really much that I want. Now, let's run through it and see if we can find something that we want here. That's interesting. This is also interesting. Eh. I think that the launch tubes... Yeah, I think launch tubes is a good one. And we'll just grab the emergency repair. So that is the second battle done and dusted. See if you can beat my score. 36%. As I said, I did get it lower, I think. Yeah, 35 or 34 or something. But uh, there you go. That's how I beat it. I'd love to see you do better. Until the next episode, thank you for joining me.